previously on Projects and Problems. All right. Open. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. It works. Beep. No. The battery was dead. I had no power in the battery. So I took out the console. I painted it shiny. It looks like glass. Oh, look at the contrast. That gray. That's nice. And to work on this battery, keep it juiced up as much as possible. All right, so I'm at the spot. Y'all gonna have to forgive me. Normally, I start off these videos real hype. I don't know. Being at this dealership, not knowing what to expect, I just don't have the energy. All right, so wish me luck. I just made an appointment. I'm bringing the car in. Car still doesn't have a name, but uh, it's going in. We'll see what happens. I probably shouldn't be in this place because uh, this is actually ridiculous. Yeah. This is really nice. Fam, the day is here. We are finally going to take this car in and get this roof fixed once and for all. I made an arrangement with the Porsche dealership. My independent garage was apparently too busy and didn't return my call. So I have to go right to the dealership and uh, hopefully I, I made the right decision. So I have a few days before I'm actually going to the dealer. Uh, there's a few things I wanna check up on. I am fully charged. Let me go ahead and unlock the doors. Probably a good idea if I move this jack. Some of you who pay attention to the channel, might spot something a little different in this frunk. I do have a battery now. I'm using the uh, Optima battery. Since it did not have a date of install, I just write on my battery when I picked it up. And I picked this one up October 14th, 2023, and where I got it from AutoZone. It has 880 cold cranking amps, which is really good. I ordered this part right here. This is called the rocker panel. I'll show you. Let me take off my glasses. I mean, plastic just gets so brittle over time. And look at it right here. See how it's about to break off? That's about to break off. It's already broken for the most part. And like this tab's missing and all these guys kind of belong. That belongs there, that belongs there. It's held in by some screws, a little damage there. And it belongs underneath the car. So it goes right here. Ah, let me get down. When you look underneath the car, it's the black. Yep, there it is right there. This is what it is. And you see how this one is nice and flush. And I did a little work to my mounting bracket on the other side. Let me get some light. Oh, those are the rims over there, nice and neat. But this is what I wanted to show you. So first and foremost, this is where the rocker panel goes. So you can see where it's missing. The rocker panel is missing all underneath there. That's number one. And number two, this is the mounting point. So that's the mounting point. And I kind of moved it into place. Uh, yeah, at some point I'm gonna have to get it welded properly, but this is good enough now. So if I do take it to a place that needs to jack up the car, there's actually a something for the jack to grab onto. Yeah, I am laying on the floor. I am. Next thing I had to do was fix the headlight switch. So what would happen is I would put the key in the ignition, I would have the car running, and I would turn on my, come on, where's my light? Come on, yo. Oops, let's open the door. There we go. I would turn on my headlights, and what would happen is sometimes this light would be out, that would work fine. When I go around to the rear, Oh my gosh, everything just went out. So I have no tail lights. Let's turn it off again, turn it back on. Look, I have one headlight and this was happening for a while and I couldn't figure out what it was. The answer is the headlight switch is defective, but I already went and I changed bulbs in the rear. Uh, I changed all my, my tail light bulbs. I had a mini bulb over there. So I changed both bulbs on both sides, had to be done eventually. When I change the headlight switch, I should be able to get rid of that problem. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And that's annoying. 
and I can just kind of keep playing with it, turn it on. It just kind of blinks. Look, see that? Look at that. Even the park light doesn't even, the park lights don't even work. Oh, let's see what's happening back here. Okay, so they're working back here. So I get my brake lights to work fine, my tail lights, but I'm missing a headlight. So it's kind of hit or miss. I hope that after I finish changing this switch, I'll kind of be done with that. So the headlight switch is pretty simple. First thing I have to do is find the right tool. Once I find the right tool, which is my little pick, like a little dentist tool, I'm gonna use that and put it underneath the dial, pull the dial out slightly, and stick it in there and just slide it right out. Took me a second to actually find the hole, pause. And there you go, pop, that works. Then I loosen a total of three Torx screws, where I think it's a Torx 20 wrench. There's one right inside that dial, and then there's two on the left-hand side in the door jam. So you loosen up those three screws and then pry this panel off. Little tricky, just take your time. Don't pull it too hard and kind of pull it towards the door. Finding a lot of old insulation in there as well because that is also a vent, the air vent. So you have two connectors. You have one kind of press fit connector. You just pull off the large one. That's the large one. And then you just have a little small, I think it's like a four pin electrical connector. And in order to get the four pin electrical connector off, you need a, uh, a little tool. I use my little dentist uh, pick tool to get that off as well. Once you get that off, just kind of slowly pull off the actual switch. Kind of rock it from left to right. You don't want to pull it too hard. You might break it. Then on the actual switch, there's a large nut. Um, I actually looked for a socket. Then I just went with a needle nose. And as I was turning it, I realized, man, this thing isn't on tight at all. So kind of loosen it up with the needle nose and uh, back it off with my hand. Now on to probably one of the most difficult parts of this project was trying to get the actual switch off the uh, housing because I don't want to break it. And the tabs looked very flimsy. Um, they look like the, the tabs need to be pulled up in order to get that switch out of the housing. So I just kind of took my time and uh, got that out. But yeah, that was probably the most difficult part of this job. The pick worked a lot better than the flathead screwdriver. So now I'm able to separate it and carefully remove that wire. Uh, along from the uh, actual switch housing. From the back, rotate the switch counterclockwise and it snaps right out. Grab the new switch. Compare it to the old switch. Make sure that all the mounting points are the same, all pins are the same. Very important. And just install the switch in reverse in the housing doesn't take more than five six minutes now that everything is back together we can just fit it inside the car this was also a little challenging because um, after you put everything back together you want to kind of feed it back into the area and um, uh, it has a vent at the top switch goes to the bottom you just want to make sure you don't kind of force it and make sure all your wires are clear Perfect. At this point, you can put your three torque screws back into place, um, or you could actually test <laughs> and make sure it works. So you can put the uh, dial back on, test to make sure it works, and then you can kind of button it up for good. 
when I first put the dial on, uh, it wasn't working properly. Then I realized that I had to kind of pull the dial out and then rotate it clockwise until it gets into place. Okay, there we go. Turn it on. Oop, let's get the key. Where's the key? Grab the key off the table. Put them in the switch. There we go. Let there be. Look at that. Tail lights are working fine. I'm not going to test the brake light this time. I already tested the brake light. And both headlights turned on fine. I'm going to switch it on and off a few times. And just keep walking around the front and back, at least the back to make sure all the lights are in. Everything looked good looks good so it's time to pack up the tools and uh, those mats are horrible um i have a story about those mats soon to come but this job's a wrap let's turn the car off one more time one more time turn the you can just turn it just playing with it now and it's a nice crisp feel like it almost clicks when i turn it on so that's exactly what i want uh, switch was defective. Putting the new switch did not take long. It was very easy to do uh, on the DIY scale of uh, from difficult to easy with five was very easy. Yeah, this is a four and a half, probably a five. Very easy to do. All right, Project Fam, thanks for watching. Hey, share this video with someone else who might like tinkering with things and fixing things and just putting together projects on our budget. Folks, show. I'll talk to you later.